purchased, thought I'd share with you guys. Um, these are mailbox doors. Replaced from Marshall University Post Office. Uh, they're three digit combination locks, uh, requiring a left, right, left movement. <coughs> uh, in terms of manipulation, much more simplistic than I'd imagine. Um, as to whether or not the, that was the reasoning behind replacing them, probably not. Um, my guess would be due to the fact that they're, uh, you know, they're getting on in age, they're, they're starting to wear, they're beginning to uh, malfunction. Uh, in fact, between the three of these from time to time, I'll, I'll experience kind of a miss where <coughs> I'll have rotated this counterclockwise enough to where I've picked up and began turning the entire wheel pack. And yet all of a sudden, once in a while, the, the drive cam will just break loose just freely spinning for two or three revolutions before it finally, um, you know, picks back up and engages those those wheels. But at any rate, uh, I thought I would take, um, manipulate these first two um, attempt, <laughs> hopefully to explain in an understandable, um, understandable manner <coughs> what's going on. Um, and just in case I don't do a very good job of that, um, I'll save this third one, which I've done some cutting on so that we can see the inner components at work. Um, and then I'll tear it apart so we can take a look inside. <coughs> so uh, the first gate we can actually find through feel. Um, sometimes this is very subtle. Other times it's, it's quite distinct. Um, the second gate we're going to find through trial and error um, by rotating uh, wheel number two progressively in two and a half increments of two and a half each time uh, reverting back to where we can feel the fence begin to drop into the gate on the drive cam <laughs> if that makes any sense at all um, <laughs> uh, so we'll know we'll know um, when we've properly aligned gate number two because when we go back to that drive cam, uh, the fence will very distinctly drop all the way down and we can then retract that latch. <coughs> so um, I'll run through this first one, um, try and slow the process down a little bit on the second one, and then we'll take a look inside them. We're going to uh, clear the dial. As I said, we're feeling for that first gate. I see that one's so distinct you might even be able to hear it. 47-ish. So opposite direction, always past our first number. We also know that the first two digits of a combination are not going to be relatively close to each other, so we could safely start 5 beyond there. So we'll start with 40. Um, as I said, increments of 2.5, so it'll be 40, 37 and a half, 35, and so on. But each time, we're going to uh, revert back to where we can feel that drive cam. beyond, hopefully that wasn't it, 30, 27 and a half, 25, 22 and a half, 20, 18, 15, 13, so you can hear that fence drop all the way into the gates.
right, so you can see uh, wheel number one. Wheel one is always farthest from uh, the dial. There's wheel number two. And the drive cam is actually about right here, underneath here. Um, you can obviously see the fence right here. And the two gates on each wheel right now are up. <coughs> As I begin rotating, you'll see wheel two moving. It'll pick up wheel one. So we're now uh, rotating the entire wheel pack. As I said, uh, the first number you'll find through feel. You can see that gate coming up. And that now lies right underneath the fence. Opposite direction until we engage wheel two. And like I said, we're only going to move that two and a half increments each time and revert back to where the fence, you can see that fence move a little bit as it uh, dropped into the drive cam. A little farther, a little farther. And it then drops in. And we can retract. So let's take a look inside it. There we can see the wheel pack. And here we can see the drive cam, the arm or lever, 